The name Perkins carved in stone. Below a Gothic tower, a boy navigates with a cane. A title. Developing curriculum guidelines in Indonesia for students who are multiply disabled and visually impaired with Weningse. The curriculum for students with uh, multiple disable visual impairment, or we call as MDVI, became very important in Indonesia because there are many reasons. First is that there are a lot of school for the blind refuse to enroll this student. Uh, second is that um, many uh, students with MDVI, they couldn't uh, follow the national curriculum and um, they couldn't pass into the evaluation system and as a result that we saw many uh, students sitting in the same class for many years and they are uh, in the same class with the young kid which is not appropriate. And then the third is that we saw many uh, teachers ask students to do the inappropriate activity like uh, we saw 15 years student they are doing a puzzle they are doing the backboard, which is, is really inappropriate for their age anymore. And uh, there are confusion uh, for the teacher who has been working with the student with MDVI to implementing or to design the program because um, the government required them to make the program that's based on, on the national curriculum, but they understand that uh, those is not meet the uh, requirement for the student, so they have to make the two programs. One is for the government, which is not uh, really uh, appropriate for the student. And then the, the second is the program that's a functional activity that's appropriate for the student. In a photograph, we see an example of a functional activity that would not be considered part of the government's curriculum requirements. Two teenaged boy students sit on low stools and coat duck eggs with a mixture of salt and wet clay under the supervision of a teacher. The eggs, a local delicacy, are sold to vendors in the nearby village. And then the third is within the, uh, uh, among the school who has the MDVI student, there is a, there is a inconsistency of uh, using the curriculum. And then we also found that um, teacher actually not really develop the IP, although they understand that the IP is the important part that they have to meet, but then they still do not have, they still do not know how to start, how to develop. What is the step? Fade to black. A graphic of the Perkins logo swoops across the screen revealing a chapter heading, using an assessment to create a student-centered approach. We call this uh, document as a guideline instead of curriculum because in Indonesia the term of curriculum is considered as a set of documents that the teacher must follow and the student must achieve. And because of the uniqueness and the variety of uh, our children, in the MDVA or including deafness, is that not possible to have the one curriculum that applicable for all the children. We see the cover of the curriculum guidelines booklet that was published in Indonesia. On the cover are several photos of students involved in functional activities. There are some important principles that um, we cover in this guideline. First is that really this requires the student center approach where everything is really individualist. In a photograph, we see a teacher undergoing training to familiarize herself with some of the challenges of students who are multiply disabled or visually impaired. The teacher wears a red headscarf and a blindfold. A teacher in a blue headscarf is demonstrating the hand-under-hand -hand technique that may be used with students. And then um, the second is that we introduce the functional activities. Um, as before, there are many teachers who ask children or students to do something that's not meaningful, like doing the puzzle or uh, doing the backboard. But we really ask the teacher really to consider about the things that are really important for the student. It's meaningful uh, for their life. In a photograph, we see a boy who is blind holding a carrot and a vegetable peeler. The carrot rests on a cutting board 
and the boy leans close as he peels thin slices of the carrot to use in a soup that he is learning to make. Next, we see the boy, a teacher, and a classmate, who is also blind, standing around a stove as they prepare to add vegetables to a soup pot. Basically, that's, uh, it starts from the assessment. We assess the student uh, to find out their strength and also their needs. And then from this assessment, um, the teacher should make the IP and, uh, or uh, educational uh, individual education plan. That's from the IP, the teacher should uh, uh, refer into the uh, team that we already developed based on our philosophy of to love, to work, to play, and to live. So uh, when the teacher see the uh, student potential, then they can pull out some uh, activity that uh, already provided in team. This activity is really based on the functional and meaningful uh, things that the student required uh, through their life. The process of uh, developing this guide guideline actually that um, we involve many uh, uh, people and many uh, professional. First that we identify the senior teacher from uh, existing school for the MDVI that uh, we already trained um, a lot of teachers including them who came uh, to Perkin International attending the uh, education leadership program in, in the past. Uh, we also involve a lot of uh, some teachers who actually already working uh, with the children for many years. In a photograph, we see five education professionals, three women and two men, who worked to develop the new curriculum guidelines. They are sitting at a table on a stage presenting the guidelines to an audience of teachers. We also involve the uh, two faculties from the two universities that who already trained uh, by Perkin Inter International by about the MDVI uh, children. And the most important thing is that we involve the national government. In this case, is the Ministry of uh, Education and Culture in Indonesia. Fade to black. How implementation might look in practice. As in the uh, national curriculum, uh, it's required the academic skill, uh, such as um, math, language, science, and others. In the functional activity, we do also pull out some concepts that require uh, academic skill, like for instance, in the gardening activity. The student may do the gardening, but they also learn about the concept that we take from the science, for instance, concept of wet, concept of dry, concept of um, dead, if the plant, if we didn't uh, watering the plant, it will die, and concept of, of leaf. We also can uh, take the concept from math, like measuring how much water that they uh, need to, to um, uh, watering. It's a concept of heavy, light and uh, this the thing that the teacher must really take care when they teach the student. In a series of two photos, we see a young student who is blind and a teacher outside of the school building watering some potted plants. The second photo shows the teacher and student examining the long spout of the green watering can. The teacher uses the hand-under-hand -hand technique to guide the girl's exploration three important areas that we really want the student to learn is uh, really is uh, they are really about the communication and social is about the work work or vocational and also is uh, about the self help and then the next thing is that about the schedule in the uh, school um, for the blind or school for the single uh, disabled children it's very often for us to see the schedule is like a um, major base. So for instance, like um, for, uh, there is the time format for language, for science and others. But here in the school, you may only see the schedule like going for shopping, gardening, cooking, music or uh, other activity that's uh, it can be various or can be different from school, um, uh, from, from its school, but still really important for uh, the student uh, life. 
in the MDVA classroom, you will see that's uh, for for example from nine to nine thirty, there is a schedule of shopping. Uh, it look like only activity, but actually uh, within those activity, the teacher also could um, integrating the math uh, goal. For instance, like um, counting how much money uh, do they have and how much money uh, did they spend in the in the market. They also can uh, work on the um, uh, social skill, like um, greeting, like um, having conversation with the seller or with the people who they always meet in the uh, store. They can work in the so in the uh, um, his in the social uh, other social aspect like understanding the different profession that's available in the community. There is a shop shopkeeper, and uh, there is something that, something that students have to learn. In a photograph, we see two boys from the MDVI classroom out in the community. Along with their teacher, they are examining one of the live chickens that a local shopkeeper sells. One boy leans in very close to see the chicken. The other, who is blind, is feeling the bird's back as the teacher guides his hand. And uh, also there is about the moral. The student can learn about sharing uh, over what they buy and also other a uh, peer buy and that uh, can be a um, good implementation of sharing is not only theoretical uh, uh, understanding but the children can really uh, implementing can really experience uh, within those activity fade to black challenges with the implementation of the guidelines this guideline um, was implemented and tested in the classroom first uh, through the existing school where the team uh, was involved. So uh, we field tested in the five school uh, who has the MDVI and with many uh, teachers who, who didn't involve in, in our process. And then uh, in the second uh, phase of uh, field tested, we also send this document to the teacher who never been uh, in our training. We want to see the comparison between teachers who already have the understanding about the children with MDVI and to the teacher who doesn't have any understanding about the MDVI student and learning strategy. In a series of photographs, we see a group of teachers around a table discussing the curriculum guidelines. The group consists of teachers with little or no training in teaching kids with MDVI and at least one experienced teacher who leads the training. There are a number of similar groups in the background. The teacher reported um, one is teacher who have been working with the children for many years. They uh, say that uh, it is uh, easy for the evaluation because the, the uh, uh, IEP really help them to make the very clear expectation uh, and goal within certain, uh, with, within semester. So it really help them to evaluate easily. And then for the teacher who uh, didn't work with the student before, they also found that uh, now they have the idea about how to make the program step by step easily and uh, I hope that this really happened and they really well use this uh, book as a resource. And then the uh, next is about the evaluation process. As in the uh, uh, national curriculum is only measure about the student achievement and there is no reflection for the teacher where if uh, actually the student achievement is actually reflect about the learning strategy that that the uh, children that the uh, teacher implemented but here we're really introducing about the uh, ongoing assessment about the teacher must really take care about the student achievement they must take that as a reflection of the learning strategy that they implemented, or maybe in the material that they use, the um, modification that they need. Student may not be able to um, eat if the spoon is not appropriate for the student. 
So this uh, thing is need to be uh, take care by teacher. And then the next thing is about uh, grading or how the uh, stu uh, student being placed in the class. Um, as in the national curriculum, they really simply asking uh, student will be placed based on the achievement. Uh, but in this curriculum is simply um, based on the chronological age. So there is no student should be uh, stay in the same class for two or three years. Fade to black. The challenge moving forward. There are some student who has uh, only single disability and they should be in the regular school. In fact, that many students who are bright, um, they stay in the special school. And this uh, kind of uh, um, uh, limited the space for children who are MDVI to be enrolled in the special school as in the, special, the special school already has a lot of students uh, that actually they should be in the regular school. The biggest um, issue that we are facing is really about the commitment of really implementing the concept of inclusion and have a belief that some children really they be able to be in the regular setting. And with that, then our MDVS student can be in the uh, special school. And there must be um, a belief also from the teacher in the special school that these children, these MDVS children, have right to be in the special school and also have right uh, to be uh, to receive education and they have the potential to learn. In a photograph, we see three MDVI students and two teachers working in the kitchen area of a school. The table is crowded with plastic bowls, a water pitcher, and the ingredients of the meal that the three students are preparing. I'm really hoping uh, um, something happen in the future in Indonesia. First, it's really in that, that uh, it will be really great to see the improvement of uh, qual quality uh, education for the children with MDVA in Indonesia. And also the second is really in that uh, there would be a open enrollment for students uh, uh, with MDVA in special school or other institution who can serve these this children. And uh, also that uh, there will be policy in the uh, government, uh, national government, about uh, uh, this uh, MDVI student. We're also hoping there will be a sustainability uh, teacher training uh, in the MDVI field uh, in Indonesia. The sustainability will, be, will uh, happen when there is statement in our policy about the MDVI student and they need for education. Uh, at the moment, uh, we've, we are really lucky because the, the uh, leader in the Ministry of Education has a great attention and has a great awareness toward MDVI uh, student needs. But as long as it is not stated into the policy, there is no guarantee about the youth support that as we have at the moment. More information regarding the Indonesian curriculum and functional planning activities can be found online at transitionplanningasia.org.